bless your name, O God. We bless your name, O God. We bless your name, O God. We thank you, O God, in the name of Jesus for change. We thank you, Almighty God, for transformation. We thank you, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that, O God, your work, Almighty God, is going to be completed in us. We thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that, O God, you are purging us, O God. We thank you, Almighty God, that, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, the new man is rising. The new man is coming up. The new man is rising in the season, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We bless you, O God, that, O God, you said, call unto me, and I shall show you great and unsearchable things. I shall show you great and things that you have never seen, that your mind has never conceived, that your ears have never heard. When we call unto you, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O God, we are ready, O mighty God, as instruments. We are ready, O mighty God, as vessels. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty, we thank you that, O God, even when, O mighty God, we are vessels of low class, God Almighty, you are going to transform us. You are going to change us, O God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. O Lord Almighty God, we thank you that, O God, you call, Almighty God, those that are unqualified and you qualify them, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you that tonight, O God, in this prayer, you have qualified somebody. We thank you that, O God, you are qualifying somebody, O God. We thank you for restoration, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. As you said, Almighty God, in the book of Jewel, O God, that, O God, afterwards I will release my spirit. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, O God, and your young men shall prophesy. We thank you that, O God, this is the prophetic hour. This is the prophetic season, O God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, spirit of a living God, have your way, O God, in the name of Jesus. Our lives are totally yielded. Our lives are totally surrendered unto you, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Ibro Zamanda, Lamando Kolobo Shiata Larabaya, Limanda Rabababa Soko Tolobo Shiata Rabababaya, Rebe Bebe 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 Sata Larabayondo Robo Shiata Larabababayo, Ribababa Soko Tolobo Shiata Rabababaya, and the Rebo Sata Larabaya, Lebro Zamanda de Boshia Catalabaya, Mando Cotolobo Siata Rabayande de Reboshia Tarababaya, Rebeyende de Bosi Catalabayande de Boshia Tarabaya. Father, we thank you, O God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Be thou glorified, O God, be thou lifted up, O God, in Jesus' mighty and precious name. We thank you, King of Glory. We thank you, mighty God, for you alone are worthy, O God. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you, Father. We bless you, King of glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We honor you tonight, O God, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come on, let's give God a hand of praise together as we, as we move forward and just occupy the front seats in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We want to take this time just to welcome everybody that is joining us tonight. All those that are joining us online, thank you very much for joining us. This is our last day of prayer. This is our last day of dedication as we dedicate ourselves to the Lord, as we dedicate and surrender our lives to the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Somebody shout amen in this place. Oh, come on, somebody shout hallelujah in this place. Somebody shout hallelujah in this place. I don't know about you, but I've been hearing God throughout this prayer. And I believe that our lives will never be the same in the name of Jesus. Look at your neighbor tonight and say, neighbor, my life will never be the same. Oh, come and talk to your neighbor and say, neighbor, my life will never be the same. In the name of the Lord, hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Before we can receive the word tonight, I just want us to pray together. In the name of Jesus Christ, all those that are joining us from home, I want you to prepare yourself for prayer. I know you've been praying since 6 o'clock. You've been praying since half past 6 right there. Where you're joining us from, even right here in the church, we have been praying and seeking the face of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. I want us to turn together to a very familiar scripture, the book of Hebrews chapter number 4. The book of Hebrews chapter chapter number 4. Uh, um, we're going to read from verse number uh, 14 up to verse number 16. Hebrews chapter number 4 from verse number 14 
up to verse number 16 in the name of the Lord and then we're going to receive the word from the servant of God tonight in the name of Jesus Christ blessed be the name of the Lord somebody shout hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah Blessed be the name of the Lord. This has been a season or a time of prayer of just dedicating ourselves to the Lord and just dedicating the temple to the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And the Lord just spoke to me on, 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 on Tuesday, on, I mean on Monday, uh, that when we dedicate the temple, it is important that even we ourselves must be rededicated and recommitted to the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So I want us to read together Hebrews chapter number 4, verse number 14. The Bible says, so since, so then, since we have a great high priest, somebody say a great high priest, who has entered heaven, Jesus, the son of God, let us hold firmly to what we believe. Verse 15, this high priest of ours understands our weakness. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, your high priest understands your weakness. Hallelujah, somebody. The Bible says, this high priest of ours understands our weaknesses. For he faced all of the same testings we do. Yet he did not sin. Hello, somebody. The Bible says, the high priest, he faced all the temptations. He faced all the testings that we also are being faced with. But yet he did not sin, which means yet he did not succumb to the testings. Hello, somebody. Now, the, now, now, now listen to verse number 16. And that's what I want us to pray on tonight. The Bible says, so let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. There we will receive his mercy. Somebody say his mercy. Somebody say his mercy. And we will find grace for us. To, I mean, grace to help us when we need it the most. Hello, somebody? Now, now, now scripture shows us here that the high priest, this high priest that we have, he, he was also tested. Hello? Which means the same things that you are going through, it is not unique to you. The things that you are going through is not new to you. Even the high priest that you call the high priest has also been tested by the same testings. That's what the Bible says. You, God will never allow you to be tempted beyond your strength. Because every temptation that he allows to come to you, none of it is not common to man. Everything is common to man. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Oh, come on, come on, talk to me. Hallelujah, somebody. Listen to scripture. The Bible says, so the high priest of ours, he understands the weaknesses because he has been through the weaknesses. He understands the challenges because he himself has been through the challenges. Now, he says, therefore, now that he understands, you must understand that he did not sin. Just because he understands does not mean that he gives us allowance to sin. Hello? Or can I talk to the church tonight? Just because he went through the weaknesses does not mean that he gives us the allowance to sin. And many of us, we always use grace as an excuse to sin. And we say, no, but the grace is sufficient. But you must understand that this is not any, anybody else's grace. This is his grace. And if it's his grace and he does not walk hand in hand with sin, therefore you cannot operate in sin and still say the grace is sufficient because if it's his grace, his grace cannot be present where sin has been present. Hello, somebody. Now, this is what I want to pray for. Listen, the Bible says, so let us come boldly to the throne of grace or to, uh, or, 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 or to the throne of our gracious God. There we will receive mercy. Somebody say we will receive mercy. Or oh, come and talk to me. Say we will receive mercy. It says there we will receive mercy. Which means this is not the mercy that you got or that you brought. It is the mercy that sits with him. The Bible says when we come to the throne of grace, we will receive mercy. Hallelujah. It says we will receive mercy. And there and, and we will find grace to help when we need it the most. And this is what I want, us, I want us to pray for tonight. As we pray for the church, I want us to pray for the church to receive mercy. 
I want us to lament for the church to receive mercy. I want you to pray for your family to receive mercy. Pray for yourself to receive mercy. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. You see, when you receive mercy, it is when you were supposed, it's, it, it's when you were supposed to die, but mercy covers you and you still live. It's when you were, when, when, when you deserved a punishment, but when mercy steps in, mercy still gives you allowance to continue living. Hallelujah, somebody. We need mercy for the next season where God is taking us. And I want us to pray and say, God, we are, he said, come. He said, I'm inviting you. Come to the throne. Come to the throne. You will receive. There is, oh, I hear the Lord says, there is, there is enough mercy for the church, but it needs men and women who can come to the throne and say, we need the mercy. Men and me, women who can come to the throne and say, by ourselves we cannot do it. By ourselves we cannot make it by myself I've tried it but what I need in this season what I need in my life what I need in my family what I need in my business what we need in the church we need to receive mercy the young women must receive mercy the young men must receive mercy the men and the men and the women the mothers and the fathers must receive mercy the children must receive mercy as we come boldly to the throne he said Come boldly. Do not fear anything. There's mercy waiting for you. There's a mercy seat at the throne. There's a mercy waiting for you. Come and receive it. And as we pray tonight, I want us to pray that and we cry out to the Lord for mercy. Just like Batamias who cried out and says, Jesus, son of David, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Can we pray to God that may God have mercy. May mercy be granted upon Calvary Christian Church in Johannesburg. May mercy be granted. May mercy be granted. May mercy be granted. May mercy be granted for the next chapter, for the next season, for the next almighty God direction. May mercy be granted as we cry, as we come boldly, as we come boldly to this throne. Mercy shall be released. Mercy shall be imparted. Mercy shall be released in the name of Jesus. We are going to operate under mercy. We are going to unite under mercy. We are going to love under mercy. We are not going to compromise under mercy because there is equal mercy. There is enough mercy. We pray and we ask for mercy. We ask for mercy in the name of Jesus for the church in this season, for the church in this chapter for the church in the name of the Lord God Almighty as you purge us as you cleanse us release your mercy release your mercy in the name of Jesus we refuse almighty God to operate outside mercy for it is this mercy that will rewrite our life story it is this mercy that will erase the past it is this mercy that will bring us up into a new season in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we cry for mercy we cry for mercy we cry for mercy in the name of Jesus we we have went astray here we became too familiar we became too too ordinary we became too complacent but oh God we are coming to the throne we are returning to the throne just like the prodigal son who said I will go back to my father and I will say father I have sinned oh Lord God Almighty we stand on behalf of the church on behalf of the families on behalf of the mothers on behalf of the young people we say we have sinned oh God we have gone astray oh God we thought we can make it by ourselves oh God but we come back for mercy we come back for mercy we come back and we ask for mercy God mercy God upon
upon the church. Mercy God upon the church. Mercy oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let mercy overflow. Let mercy overflow. That oh God. We shall not take advantage of the mercy. We shall not take advantage of the new page. We shall not take advantage of where you are taking us. We shall not take advantage in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We approach the throne. We approach the throne. We approach the throne. Come on my sister, my brother. Approach the throne on behalf of your family. On behalf of your studies. On behalf of your business. Approach the throne. There is enough mercy. There is enough mercy. He says you will receive it. It's waiting for you to receive it. There is mercy waiting for you to receive it. There is mercy waiting for you to receive it. We have come to tap on this mercy. We have come, mighty God, to take this mercy, to receive this mercy. We release it, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Upon the church, even this Sunday, as the church returns, that, O oh God, there shall be mercy. There shall be mercy. There shall be mercy. There shall be mercy. That, O oh God, people will begin to ask themselves, what happened to the church? It is when mercy would have infiltrated. Mercy would have moved around the pews. Let mercy mighty God hoof up around the rows. Let mercy be the one that changes the heart of stone. Let mercy be the one that changes the heart of bitterness. We cry for mercy God. We cry for mercy God. How oh, forgive us oh God for becoming too familiar. For becoming too complacent. For playing church. Mighty God for playing with the anointing. Lord have mercy upon Upon us, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. Before we inquire of grace, we inquire of your mercy. Before we tap into the grace, we inquire of your mercy. Before we embark into the sufficiency of your grace, we need your mercy tonight. Have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. You are God of all mercies, as scripture says that his mercies endureth forever and ever and ever may the message endure upon this house upon this house that it shall be a house of mercy it shall be a house of mercy in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the word that will be preached here shall not be a word mighty God to inflict our feelings but shall be a word to dispatch mercy this pulpit shall be a place where mercy shall be released let mercy abound. Let the mercies of the Lord abound. Let the mercies of the Lord abound. Let the mercies of the Lord abound. Have mercy upon the church. Have mercy upon us, O God. In the name of Jesus. We are not wasting time. You said call and I will answer. Ask and you shall receive. Knock and the door shall be opened. Seek and you shall find. We are seeking for the messes. We are seeking for the messes. We are seeking for your messes. We are seeking for your messes. In the name of Jesus. Mercy, 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 mercy. Mercy in the educational industry. Mercy in the employment. Mercy in marital affairs. Mercy, mercy in our health. Mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy in our thinking capacity. Mercy in the business world. Mercy. Let there be enough mercy in the house. Rabashie telebaya. Makotolo boshia tarabaya. Imandi eke telebayanda. Labroso mandi kalibosha. Imundu kidi boshiata. Rabababababa. 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 Sheke teleboshiata. Imando kotolo boshiata. Shout, come on, child of God, uh, cry before the Lord. Uh, I'll shout before the Lord uh, and inquire of the mercy. Seek the mercy, uh, receive the mercy. Uh, I will not leave your presence uh, until I receive the mercy. I will not leave your house uh, until I receive the mercy. We cry for mercy, God. Uh, let your mercy abound. Uh, let your mercies abound. Uh, 
Mercy for Calvary Christian Church. Mercy for Calvary Christian Church. Mercy God. Mercy God. Let your mercy show up. Let your mercies abound. Let your mercies abound. We ask. Oh, another mercy. Let mercy show up in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We speak like Moses. As you said, mighty God, in the book of Exodus, unless your presence shall go with me, we are standing as Calvary Christian Church and we are saying, unless the mercies of the Lord have covered us, we are not going anywhere. We are not doing anything. We shall not say any word. Mercy. Let mercy cover us. Let mercy be our covering ahead of us, behind us, on our sides. Oh, Lord, let mercy, mercy in our finances. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Mercy, oh God. Mercy in our volunteers. Mercy, oh God. Mercy upon our leadership. Show mercy, oh God. La koposhiata. Ramando koposhiata. Imanda kalabasoto. Ramaya hande reboshia katalabaya. Rebe yende reboshia katalabaya. Imando kotoloboshia terebababaya. Rebe bebe bebe yanda labasio tolobosha. Yende ketelebosia tarababaya. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You said we shall receive the mercy. As we come boldly to the throne. We shall obtain the mercy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Release your mercy. Upon this house. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Lift up your hands wherever you are tonight. And speak after me in the name of Jesus. And say in the name of Jesus. Even when you are joining us online. Speak and say in the name of Jesus. Oh come on you can shout it right here in the temple. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I stand as a vessel. Ready to be used. By you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Not my will be done. But you will. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come and speak it again and say in the name of Jesus. I approach the throne to receive mercy. I approach the throne to find grace. I approach the throne to receive mercy. In the name of Jesus. Tonight I have received my mercy. Tonight my life has been rewritten. Tonight my story has been rewritten by the mercy, by the mercy, by the mercy, by the mercy of the Lord. I receive the mercy of the Lord. I receive the grace of the Lord in my life in Jesus name if you believe it give God a shout of praise as we receive the mercies of God as we receive the mercies of God as we receive the mercies of God there is mercy at the throne oh you are not hearing me tonight I don't care what you did last season but he said, come boldly to the throne. You will receive mercy. Look at your neighbor tonight and say, neighbor, I have received my mercy. Mercy has rewritten my life in the name of Jesus. You don't need to feel it. You need to believe it in the name of Jesus. I say you don't need to feel it. You need to believe it in the name of Jesus. Oh, speak and say in the name of Jesus. There is mercy for our church. Oh, come and speak it on behalf of everybody. And say in the name of Jesus. We are obtaining mercy for Calvary Christian Church Johannesburg. Say in the name of Jesus. Every corner there is mercy. Every entrance there is mercy in the name of Jesus. Oh, come and give God a praise in this place. Oh, come on, somebody give God a praise in this place. Mercy. We are moving into a season of mercy where we're going to operate in the covering of mercy. Therefore, when mercy has covered you, you fear not nothing. 
When mercy has covered you, you are not timid. You don't operate in fear anymore. You are not afraid of anything. For the Bible says, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power, the spirit of sound mind in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah in this place. I say somebody shout hallelujah in this place. Somebody shout hallelujah in this place. There has to be mercy in this house. Mercy for the church. Mercy for the church. The Lord spoke to me. I said it last week. And I've been praying about it the whole day. And the Lord said, you've become too familiar with me. I said, Lord, have mercy on us. He says, you've become so complacent. You think I'm going to move this Sunday. I'm going to move next Sunday. I'm going to move next Wednesday. Why? Because you are, you are the precious eye of me. He said, and, and, and I said, Lord, forgive us, forgive us. And, and I began to pray for mercy the whole day. And I began to pray for mercy. Because when mercy steps in, everything that was said before is non-existent in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. You cannot hold a grudge with somebody in the presence of mercy. You cannot backbite somebody in the presence of mercy. You cannot watch your brother. You cannot watch your brother fall in the presence of mercy. When mercy has come into the house, compassion operates. When mercy has, op has come into the house, love operates. When mercy has hit the house and what we need for the next season, the Lord spoke to me and says, it's not the anointing I've already given you. What you need is the mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up your right hand one more time and say, in the name of Jesus. Oh, come and speak it loud and say, in the name of Jesus. There is in, enough mercy available for me. There is enough mercy available for my sister and my brother. There is enough mercy available for the church. In the name of Jesus. Come on, let's give God a hand of praise. Come on, let's give God a hand of praise tonight. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Even you that is watching us online tonight, there is enough mercy for you. May mercy reach you wherever you are tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is my prayer. And it's going to be my continual prayer. That may God help us. That we do not just pray and not leave what we have prayed for. Hallelujah somebody. We do not just pray and go back and be the same people. Let me tell you something that in this season, if we come back as a church and we be the same people and we still do the same things, we still do the same sins, we still treat God the same way, we still give the same way. As I said last night, and I'm going to say it online because the Lord specifically spoke to me and said, I must release this word to the church. He said, I'm going to destroy the church. He said, I'm going to destroy the church and I will build my own church that will hear me. And may we be an obedient church that hears from the Lord in the name of the Lord. May we not walk according to our own thinking. May we not do things that only pleases our flesh, yet they grieve the Holy Spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Come on, let's give God a hand of praise together as we get ready to receive the word tonight in the name of Jesus. Give it up for Minister Mukundi tonight one more time. Uh, to dish out the word tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. May you be blessed tonight online in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh, if it wasn't for the mercy of the Lord, the Lord would have consumed all of us. But then the Bible says that his mercies are new every day, which then means that the Lord is intentional about giving us another chance to live for him. Hallelujah. As, as he was speaking that in the presence of mercy, there is compassion. It resonated with what I'm going to talk about tonight. Hallelujah. We're going to read from the book of Matthew. I'm going to speak briefly. We're going to read from the book of Matthew chapter 18. And I will read from verse 21. It's a bit of a lengthy reading, uh, and it reads, Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall, I, shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? Up to seven times, Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to seventy times seven. 
Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a certain king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. And when he had begun to settle accounts, one was brought to him who owed him 10,000 talents. But he, but as he was not able to pay, his master commanded that he be sold with his wife and children and all that he had that and that payment be made. The servant therefore fell down before him saying, Master, have, have patience with me and I will pay you all. Then the master of the servant was moved with compassion, released him and forgave him the debt, the debt. But the servant went out and found one of his fellow servants who owed him 500 denarii. And he, he laid hands on him and took him by the throat saying, pay me what you owe. So the fellow servant fell down at his feet and begged him saying, have patience with me and I will pay you. And he would not, but went and threw him into prison till he should pay the debt. Hallelujah. Blessed be the reading of the word of the Lord. Amen. Where we have read uh, as, as from, from verse 21, Peter asked Jesus, and he says that how often shall I forgive my brother if he sins against me? Then he even asked and say, should I forgive him seven times? That to me then said that Peter had put limits on what he is going to forgive that any other person that is going to sin against him. And it resonated with me because the church today also have limits on how much we're going to pardon people. Hallelujah. As, 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 as the pastor was speaking, he says that where mercy is present, there is compassion, which then means that if we love holy, the Bible says that love does not count wrongs, which then means that love does not put limits, that you wronged me today, then tomorrow if you wronged me again, I won't. So that was exactly what Peter was communicating, that should I give him seven times, which then meant that he wanted to count until seven, and then he say, I'm done. And then Jesus comes and challenges him, and he says that in the kingdom of God, we do not count. The Bible says that the mercies of the Lord are new every day. So what is the Lord saying to the church? That as we have come and pleaded, the Bible speaks of the servant that owed a lot of debts. He went to his master. He wasn't able to pay. And he begged him. And the master forgave him. So what is the Lord saying to the church? That you have came since Monday. You have cried unto me. You have dedicated yourself. You have cried even for freedom, but that which you have received, you will need to extend. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it will be nile and void if we, have, we had come from Monday until today, even as we continue. If that which the Lord has freely given us, we are not able to freely give other people. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. The Bible says this, this, this servant, he was forgiven. The Bible says that the, 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 the master wanted him sold and his entire family, even his belongings. And then the Bible says he went and begged him and he pardoned him. But then when it was up to him to extend the same mercy, he, he, he took he, he was violent with the fellow servant and he put him in prison. What does that say to the church? That as we receive anything from the Lord, we should be ready to extend it at any given time. That when it is our chance to extend that which we cry day and night for the Lord to give us, that we are able to give him, to give other people. Hallelujah. The Bible speaks in the book of Luke, of, of the two sons, one who went and squandered uh, his inheritance and then came back. 
when he came back, the father throws a party for him. And the elder brother was in the field. When he came back, he asked one of the seven what is happening. And they were exp when they explained to him, they, his heart became bitter. And he said that all these years I have served you. And you have not even given me one ship for me to celebrate with my friends. And the father says to him, you are with me all the time which then means that that which is mine, it is yours. So what am I saying? That even when people come back, we need to be ready. We need to prepare our heart that we are able to receive. Then we need to be a people. I feel like if this son knew that what belongs to the father is mine, he wouldn't be bitter in the heart. So what am I saying to the church? Most of the time we are not aware of our gifts. That when the Lord raises another person we are bitter because we feel like they are taking our place yeah. on, hallelujah yeah. so when people of the Lord comes back we need as people who have been crying from Monday as people who have been seeking the Lord in fasting we need to get our hearts ready that when people come we are able to receive them we need to allow the love of the Lord work in our hearts that we are able to extend it we need to be a people that will not count rocks we need to be a people that continuously seek the Lord we need to know who we are in the Lord so that even as the Lord works we are not jealousy and we we do not become bitter with what the Lord is doing in the house if there is something that, that makes the church drags. It's because I look at Chandugo and I see the Lord raising her and I think she's taking my spotlight. What does the word say? The word of the Lord says the glory of the sun and the glory of the moon, they are different. Hallelujah. Even that of the stars, even as they are many, they do not have each one of them have a different glory. So what am I saying? That we need our hearts prepared. As the church is opening, we need to prepared hearts because we need to know that the glory of the sun and the glory of the moon is different. Ah, the sun has no problem with the moon coming up at night. But the moon has to shine at night. The moon has no trouble. The moon has no trouble. The moon has no trouble in the morning when the sun rises. Why? Because it knows the morning belongs to the sun. So what am I saying? What am I saying? As the body, as the church, when the hand is doing the work of the hand, the leg is in error. When the leg is jealousy of the hand, it is impossible for the leg to do the work of the hand. So when, I'm, when I am jealousy of someone who the Lord is raising, I am simply saying I want to operate in the glory that is not mine. I want to rise in the morning when I am the moon. So what will happen? It will, be, it will shock us if we wake up in the morning and we see the moon. So, if you want to walk with the Lord, if you want to be ready for where the Lord is taking us, you need to be prepared in your heart that even as the little brother comes back, you are secure enough to embrace him, knowing that there is enough for all of us. We, I know my standing with the father, so I don't have a problem when he embraces the, 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 the little brother. Why should I be comfortable when I hear? I, I believe that he has heard. He even says he squandered it. Where did he hear it? He, he, see, he see him coming back and he says, this, this son of yours squandered it. Hallelujah. So, if the little brother comes back and the older brother is unable to embrace him, he is simply saying he is confused of his standing with the Lord. So, if the Lord is working, if, in, in where the Lord is ushering us, he needs a people 
who knows that each part of the body needs to work together so that the head, which is Christ, can be glorified. So if we still have the small scrambles around us, it then means that we still have a long day to, to a long way to go. Uh, we've been praying for forgiveness tonight, and when the Lord extends forgiveness to us, we should be a people whom, when we go to the throne, He He, he spoke. The uh, pastor spoke that let us go to the throne of grace, so, so that we may obtain mercy and grace. Why do we go there? Because we go there when we receive it, we are able to show it unto other people. The Lord does not just do anything for, for, for just doing. He does not have time for doing things for fun. When he gives, when he's, he gives us something, is that his kingdom can be extended. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. One person once said that the life of a tree is seen in the branches. That's why branches that do not bear fruit, he cuts off. Because they communicate a wrong message of what the tree is. So what am I saying? Just like the pastor says that if we are not ready for what the Lord is doing, if we go back to how we were, the Lord will, will destroy the church and raise himself another one. What is he doing? He is cutting off branches that are sending a wrong message of what the tree is. And, and he cannot have that. He says, I am the vine. You are the branches. What does the branches do? The branches communicate and extend the life of the vine. So if they don't bring out fruit, they are saying that this vine cannot bring out fruit. So what does he do? For his name not to, not to be taken in shame, he cuts off those branches. And he cuts communication with it. Because you are not communicating what I am. Hallelujah. So what am I saying? Get your heart ready. Get your heart ready. You will need to forgive more than you count. You will need to, to heal from offenses. You will need to extend love to people who have offended you. Why? Because you went to the throne of grace and the Lord was able to heal your heart. You will need to forgive grudges. You will need to do away with grudges. Because if you still hold grudges, it will communicate your immaturity even in the kingdom. Hallelujah. Imagine if Jesus held grudges. He would have died for some and left some. But when he went to the cross, he even said that, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. What is that? He is saying that I understand the mandate, and I cannot hold it against them. Why can't I hold it against them? For this reason, I am on this cross. So what do I say when I'm in this cross? I say, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing, because for them, I am dying. Hallelujah. So get your heart ready. Get your heart ready. I don't know if you will need to pray. Uh, I don't know what kind of prayer you'll say. But get your heart ready. The little brothers are coming back. And they need a big brother who is not confused of his identity. Because when he is confused of his identity, he will then mistreat him that needs love. Hallelujah. So get your heart ready. Get your heart ready. So when you dedicate yourself to the Lord and you say, I am saying yes to him, you are actually saying yes to everything that comes with his kingdom. You are actually saying that what I'm unable to do like Peter, who just wants to give seven times, you are saying yes to 70 times seven. So what do we need? We need to get our hearts ready. We need to get ready for the little brother. He needs to get a warm welcoming hand when he comes back. Even with the leaders, you will need to embrace some. You will need to do away with self. You will need to forget yourself because you are on a mandate. And for this mandate, you have been called. Hallelujah.
Oh, come on, somebody give God a hand of praise tonight. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Give God a hand of praise tonight. Oh, I don't know about you, but I've been hearing God this past three days. And I heard God tonight. Hallelujah. 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 It, is, it will be very stupid of the sun to compete with the moon. Yet they don't have the same glory. Look at the sun next to you and say, why are you competing with me? Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I mean, this word is... <laughs> you know, I was sitting there and I was laughing because uh, uh, on, on Recharge Wednesday, we are talking about operating this. And if it was Recharge Wednesday, I kid you not, I was going to preach about shining your own glory. The same scripture about the sun and the moon and the stars. And, and, and this is what God is saying to the church tonight. Hallelujah. And I believe that this word, this word is so relevant to us as a church because we are a church of young people. Hello? Hello? Uh, and, and we are a church of, of, a, of a pastor that loves everybody. And everybody wants to be close to the pastor. Everybody wants, the moment the pastor doesn't call me, doesn't talk to me, like, okay, so and so is taking my space. I must deal with them. Why? Because we live in competition. I mean, God help us as a church. I want to I I read you the scripture. I want to read you the scripture. It says, it says, it's found in Matthew 5, verse 30. It says, if your hand, even your stronger hand, causes you to sin, cut it off. Throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for, for your whole body to be thrown into hell. You say, Pastor, but what are you talking about? You know, I, I just want to combine with, with, with what Mukundi was talking about. That some of us, we've got a strong hand here. We love the church, we love God, but there's a strong hand that makes us to see. And because it's, it's our strong hand, we always, we always want to keep it. And the Bible says, you must cut it away. You must get rid of it so that you can be able to rise to the mandate. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. May God help us that in this mandate that God is calling us for, hey, we must get rid of these things. We must get rid of, the, as, as the Bible says in the book, the book of Hebrews 12, get rid of the sin that so easily entangles you so that we are ready for this mandate. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm ready for the mandate. I'm ready for the mandate. Let us not limit God because the young brothers, they are coming back. And when they come back, may they find big brothers that are not confused. Hallelujah. We will see you by how you treat your young brother. We will see your confusion. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We just want to thank God for the gift in this house, uh, in, the, in the form of, of, of our daughter in the house, Sister Mukundi. What a, what a powerful teacher of the word. Blessed be. Can we just, can, can we just appreciate her? She, she, she just uh, articulates the word of God with no sweat, with no struggle. And, and it, just, it just flows. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can't wait for a day where we go, we're going to be seated here and this auditorium is going to be occupied and full to capacity and she must be delivering the word. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and you know, my heart was so painful to say, I mean, I, mean, I mean, this child has been with us for a very long time. Very long time. Very long time. And she's very quiet. She doesn't talk much. But there is so much power in her. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Can we appreciate her one more time in the name of the Lord? We also want to take time just to thank everybody that has joined us uh, during our prayer, especially right here in the church uh, with our beautiful auditorium that uh, uh, operates differently during the day and in the evening it operates differently, but we kept on coming in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you very much that, uh, for everybody that joined us also online. May God richly, richly, richly bless you. Tonight marks the end of our, of, of our prayer. So you see now, I'm, I'm doing Thanksgiving. So the big brother, if you don't thank the big brother by name, they're not coming to church next week. That's a big brother mentality. I'm, I'm looking at, at my uh, at my uh, at my director at the back is looking at me. Say you must thank me by name, otherwise I'm I'm cutting you off online. 
It's a big brother mentality. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We just, we, just, we, just, we just laughing together. But otherwise, thank you very much to everybody. It has been our first uh, 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 prayer meeting right here in the church uh, um, on our three days of prayer and fasting. And I believe it was good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we will meet you again in the month of November as we continue praying in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be the name of the Lord. May we stand together for the grace uh, as we share the grace together in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of the Lord, we release the grace of the Lord, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of, uh, of, of, of the Holy Spirit. Be with each one of us now and forevermore. In your name we pray. Amen and amen. God richly bless you. Thank you very much for joining us. And may you have yourselves a great and a blessed evening. We have come officially to the end of our prayer and fasting. But otherwise, we will meet you on Sunday at 10 o'clock right here at Calvary Christian Church, Johannesburg, 23 Focus Street, Jeepis Town. God richly bless you in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. We love you. I'm Pastor O and I'm... Signing out. <laughs>